Yes, hello everyone. Welcome on Yourpedia platform. I am Vishal Sharma, and today I am here in front of you with one job notification related to Ministry of Defence, Government of India. So they are appointing civilians for the post of various Army Ordnance Corps units depot, and the name of the post is Material Assistance, guys. So for Material ass Assistant, there are total uh, I think uh, 419 posts they announced, in, uh, in which 171 posts are for General, 42 for EWS, 113 for OBC. 62 for SC and 31 post stars there for ST category. Uh, the pay band, the salary will be in the pay level 5, 29,202 to 92,300. So this is a pay band guys, I feel the salary, the starting salary will be in the range of 50,000. Okay, because this is the pay band, 20, 30,000 is the uh, initial pay band in, in which you are going to enter and at the time of retirement you will be able to reach to this pay band, the salary will be in the range of uh, 1.5 lakhs or 2 lakhs. Okay, it depends but at the time of retirement only so initial uh, salary will be in the range of 45 to 50000 in that range but yes all other uh, you know army facilities i think they are going to offer because these are the positions there in the ministry of defense army mein hai to uh, let me tell you the functionality uh, like these are the kind of function functionalities required so the persons who are having some kind of disability they can also apply guys they mentioned these are the category disabilities with which you can apply agar koi bachcha hai which is having who, uh, the person who is having some low vision problem deaf ya hard of hearing so these kind of disabled uh, disabled persons are also eligible to apply for these positions okay material assistance so these are the functional requirement you can easily refer to this sitting मतलब पर्सन सीटिंग बैठने में समर्थ होना चाहिए स्टैंडिंग वॉक करने में होना चाहिए तो इवन ए पर्सन हु इज हैविंग वन लैग डिसेबिलिटी और वन आर्म डिसेबिलिटी ही इज एलिजिबल टू अप्लाई ओके ऑल अदर पर्संस आल्सो दे आर एलिजिबल टू अप्लाई वेदर दे आर हैविंग सम डिसेबिलिटी और नॉट सो इट्स अ बेनिफिशियल फॉर सम काइंड ऑफ पीडब्ल्यूडी कैटेगरी स्टूडेंट्स गाइस इफ यू आर हैविंग देन यू कैन अप्लाई बिकॉज़ पोजीशंस आर गुड ओके सो दीस आर द कैटेगराइजेशन गाइस uh, reason wise eastern western northern southern southwestern central west and central east zone these are the number of vacancies you can refer guys first they are going to shortlist uh, you can check it here the age limit 18 to 17 the eligibility criteria is graduate in any discipline whether you are having ba bsc btech you can apply otherwise uh, diploma students they can also apply but diploma is required in engineering so if you are ba pass then also you can apply otherwise Diploma is required in engineering. Any engineering domain, uh, if you are having diploma, then you can apply. Okay, so age limit is also there. But yes, these are the age limit for general category student. Further, there is a relaxation of five years uh, as per the, you know, center government norms. You can check. So these are the age relaxation, SCST five year, OBC three year, PWD unreserved 10 year, PWD OBC 13 year, PWD SCST 15 year, year and for ex servicemen there is a 3 year age relaxation. So first guys they are going to shortlist 50 uh, times of the vacancies uh, they are going to shortlist like suppose they mentioned 400 vacancies close to that. So if we do 50 times then so close to 20,000 20, students they are going to shortlist for the written test and the criteria they are going to opt your percentage the minimum eligibility percentage they are going to you know keep as the shortlisting criteria and 50 times of the you know jobs uh, vacancies their student they are going to shortlist for the written examination and yes after written examination they are going to prepare the final merit list and based on that final merit list they will offer you this particular seat okay so uh, they mention very clearly the syllabus also uh, written test will be there stage 2 pehle to stage 1 kya hoga qualifying qualifying means 50 times students they are going to call for the written examination. So some uh, merit list, some you know shortlisting they will uh, carry out based on your uh, minimum qualification marks. It may be BA, if you are BA pass, if it may be diploma, if you are diploma uh, pass out student. After that stage 2 is written examination and written examination will be there in that they are going to ask you questions, 150 questions, 150 marks and 2 hour paper they are going to conduct. Uh, in which they are going to ask question from general intelligence and reasoning, numerical aptitude, general awareness, English language and comprehension. Okay. So, iske baad they are finally over you. There will be negative marking also. One fourth ka ya 0.25 ka negative marking bhi rahega because 150 question hai and each question carry one marks. But if you are uh, answering a question wrongly, then there will be negative marking. Penalty will be there one fourth. Okay, so very clearly they prescribed the syllabus also for each and every section guys. So very clearly they defined the syllabus. I feel then it is very easy and comfortable for the students 
to prepare okay further you can uh, go through this uh, notification to get more details and uh, you, you need to read all those instruction guys before applying to this particular position here my purpose is to aware all of you yes there is some notification uh, came out for all the students who are having a BA or who are having some kind of graduation degree or diploma in any of the engineering domain so guys I feel there is a good uh, position available further later stage if you feel yes you can um, have that much time then uh, later stage also you can uh, prepare for so many other examination also but yes if you are not having any uh, you know um, uh, good job this time then yes definitely it is a very good uh, uh, starting job for you and even for diploma student if you are getting a 50,000 job that is even much better than uh, getting a, uh, any kind of you know uh, private sector or any other uh, kind of job then yes so it's a good position good opportunity for you please apply timely if you meet all other eligibility criteria and yes if you feel yes you will be able to prepare for the written examination apply timely thank you good luck keep preparing